All right, so this is going to be 10 and 3 quarters across. This is 6 and a quarter, and these are 2 and a quarter. And what I want to do is my next piece, I've already experimented. It's just going to go right over there like that. And this, this corner is, is going to be routed, if that makes any sense. And it's actually going to stick up like that. And then I'm going to fill in, believe it or not, I'm going to fill in this, this gap at the top. This is all part of my plan, believe it or not. So there we go. So I'll just cut this and then we'll, uh, I have to cut three holes, one, two, three, for the uh, levers on the, on the vise. Okay, a carpenter I am not. But I'm going to route just a groove around the edge, the three edges of this, not the top edge. So let's just see how I do. Okay, don't laugh. Good. You're, I know what you're wondering, but it, it's going to work. Now I have to get, make sure I get these two screws lined up because I don't know exactly how they line up in the in the uh, in the front of here. So I'm just going to uh, stick a couple pins in there, press there, and make a mark. So now I'm going to mount this onto here. Thanks, guys. Okay, I need to mark where these holes are going to be from the outside. So I'm going to take. The, I've got two screws. I just cut off with the. Uh, angle grinder and I've left a nub sitting out here. I haven't had this much fun in a long time. So let's get my glasses on and see if I can find out where that is. Erase that after. Good. Okay, now I'll just drill a a number 10 hole in that. Okay guys, I'm really happy with this. I just have to mark out where I'm going to put my screws to hold this down, remembering that this is metal now. I'm probably making this much more complicated than it has to be. That's what I do. That's my job. Okay, so now I'm going to... I want the top of this to be level with the top of that. Don't remember, don't forget that, guys. All right, I know this looks a little wacky right now, but I'm uh, just there setting the depth and the height of this. I've still got a tiny bit of adjustment left. metal shim behind there. Now we'll countersink it. Just a little tiny bit. That's going to have to do, I think. Drill a hole there, there, and there, or there, because that is where the existing screws are. So we're going to put a pilot hole there. And a pilot hole there. And then my screws are there and there. This is where my pilot hole goes. I'm 100% sure. There, they don't all have to be as long as the others. I just got to go find some uh, some better bits. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I'm just finishing up here. 
far as the vice face is concerned, inside face. Okay, now I'm just going to finish these off with a screwdriver because you don't want to over torque them and sink them through the hard board, right? See if it meets up okay. Good. So now my the, the piece that's going on the inside of the vise is the same idea, like about that. So now we have to do the same thing with this that we did with the three holes in the front of this. And I'm gonna make it a rectangle. Remember that I already have this height, so we're just going to, uh, it's six and a quarter almost, so I'm going to make the um, piece of wood eight and a quarter. All right guys, two more pieces of wood to go, and I can start painting. Oh, just barely. Good. So that's what I wanted was that to be flush there. And then I'm going to put a piece of eighth inch filler in here. This is dusty business. So I'm just going to start the holes and then I'll take the vise out. Now the screws are going to come back through this way. from this side now. Cross and bottom. Like that. I need a tiny little lock washer on there. Okay. See how that gets pulled in, eh? Okay, tubes. So now I'm going to entomb my little vise. With contact cement, not quite. I'm just having fun now. I have to leave this sit for 15 minutes, which will give me a chance to get the garage cleaned up. Well, there we are, guys. It's done. glued to this. Now if I had to, we could sand that right off there. Eh? And I've got the cover on the top now. 
and it looks relatively nice. It looks really, really like my holes are fairly accurate and everything there. All my screws are set. Pretty cool. Okay guys, the furnace is running. But what I'm doing is I'm making plugs out of uh, some oak plywood to cover these uh, bolts, bolt holes here. That one's not sanded very well, but you get the idea, right? Something like that. I need four. I've got one. This one is too small. And I'm going to cut two more, or three more. Using my new vise. Before I uh, paint everything up, I'm going to uh, put these plugs in. And then a little tap. Maybe we'll do him last, eh? Whoops. Well, that's good. Okay, let's continue with this mess. a necessary step but now when I wipe the benches at least I won't get a hole full of sawdust right thanks for watching that one tubes well we might as well do one little last film so that's uh, that's it until we paint the to paint the benches got some gouges to fix but um, I think painting the benches will be set aside for a special day I'm happy with this.